Thanks for stopping by. Today I'll be talking about parallel evolution. This is a topic that goes along with convergent and divergent evolution and was suggested to me by Emily D. So thanks for that, Emily. If you remember, convergent evolution occurs when two different species evolve similar traits, and divergent evolution occurs when a trait in a species evolves into two separate traits, eventually resulting in two separate species. For more detail on these, check out my video on convergent versus divergent evolution. However, parallel evolution occurs when two species that share a common trait due to a common ancestor evolve similar traits independent of one another. This is often due to uh, enduring similar environmental pressures. There are many classic examples of parallel evolution between the marsupial mammals of Australia and the placental mammals elsewhere. All of these mammals share a common ancestor but, but were separated early on. And despite this separation, they evolved many of the same traits. So let's explore a few of those. Uh, there is the glider, or a glider in both groups, uh, the flying squirrel in placentals, and the flying phalanger in marsupials. Both share a similar common ancestor, and though separated, they evolved many similar traits uh, for gliding. Another case is the placental mole versus the marsupial mole. Both are burrowers with similar traits that evolved independently from a similar ancestor. Right, so let's tie all this back together by looking at these three main types of evolution once more. So divergent evolution is similar traits from a common ancestor evolving into two unique traits. Convergent evolution is two separate species not sharing a common ancestor evolving similar traits. And parallel evolution is two similar species sharing a common ancestor and evolving the same traits independently. I hope that helps. Uh, be sure to watch some of my other videos, and if you have any questions about this video or suggestions for future videos, throw them in the comments. I'll catch you next time.